It's a Sylvester Stallone movie called Rambo The Last Blood. The film opens in Arizona, where the retired John Rambo now lives on his family's ranch. He shares this rural property with his close friend Maria Beltran and her granddaughter Gabrielle, whom Rambo views as a niece. In the years since his last battle, Rambo has been plagued by PTSD, haunted by memories of death and violence. To cope, he has been constructing an elaborate network of tunnels beneath the ranch. One day, Gabrielle asks Rambo if she can host a party for her friends in the tunnels, to which he agrees. During the party, Gabrielle is contacted by her friend Jezel, who has information about Gabrielle's long-absent father, Miguel. Gabrielle shares this news with Rambo, who knows Miguel and strongly advises against Gabrielle trying to reconnect with the man. Rambo explains that he understands how terrible some men can be, and pursuing this relationship would only lead to Gabrielle getting hurt, as Miguel had previously abused Gabrielle's mother before Rambo intervened. The next morning, Gabrielle argues with her grandmother Maria about going to Mexico to find Miguel, despite Rambo's warnings. Gabrielle secretly drives to Mexico to meet up with her friend Jezel. Jezel takes Gabrielle to her father Miguel's house, where Miguel coldly tells Gabrielle he wants nothing to do with her or her mother. Devastated, Gabrielle leaves in tears, but Jezel tries to cheer her up by taking her to a local club. There, Gabrielle interacts with a man who ends up slipping drugs into her drink. The next day, Maria receives a distressed call from Jezel, reporting that Gabrielle has gone missing. Determined to find her, Rambo takes it upon himself to drive to Mexico. At Miguel's house, Rambo angrily confronts the man, saying he should have killed him years ago when he was abusing Gabrielle's mother. Rambo then tracks down Jezel and quickly realizes she has sold Gabrielle into a human trafficking operation, noting that Jezel is now wearing Gabrielle's mother's bracelet. The scene shifts to a cartel's captive holding facility, where Gabrielle is lined up with other kidnapped young women. One of the cartel's leaders, Victor Martinez, drags away a woman who tried to escape, threatening to kill the captives if they attempt to flee again. Rambo forces Jezel to take him to the club where she had taken Gabrielle. There, they spot the man Gabrielle had been talking to. Rambo is observed by a nearby woman named Carmen Delgado. Rambo then follows the man to his car and threatens him with a knife. When the man refuses to talk, Rambo violently interrogates him, striking him hard in the shoulder with the knife's hilt, then stabbing him in the leg and digging into the shoulder wound to painfully crack his bones. Only then does the man reveal where Gabrielle was taken. Rambo drives to the location of the cartel's base, where he is easily spotted. Carmen has also followed him there. The cartel leaders, brothers Victor and Hugo, along with their gang, surround Rambo. Rambo shows them a picture of Gabrielle, and the brothers recognize her. They then mercilessly beat Rambo, with Hugo threatening to hurt Gabrielle since Rambo came for her. Finally, Victor carves a V into Rambo's cheek and leaves him there for dead. Carmen rescues the wounded Rambo, but the cartel brothers proceed to torture Gabrielle. As Rambo recovers at Carmen's house, Gabrielle remains captive, forced into human trafficking and continuously drugged by the cartel. Meanwhile, Maria anxiously waits for Rambo and Gabrielle's return. When Rambo wakes up, Carmen shares that her own sister was previously kidnapped and killed by the Martinez brothers' cartel. This has driven Carmen to investigate the cartel, hoping to bring them down. Determined to rescue Gabrielle, Rambo infiltrates a brothel run by the cartel. He slaughters the men operating the place, as well as several clients. Rambo orders the captive women to flee, but they fear they will be killed if they try. Eventually, Rambo locates Gabrielle's room, where she is barely conscious from the drugs. Rambo manages to get Gabrielle out of the brothel. The Martinez brothers later discover the carnage and realize Rambo is responsible. Victor berates his brother Hugo for not killing Rambo when they had the chance. 
On the drive back to Arizona, a weakened Gabriel succumbs to the excess drugs and dies in Rambo's arms. Devastated, Rambo returns home in the morning and has to break the tragic news to Maria. After Rambo and Maria bury Gabriel in the backyard, a devastated Maria leaves to stay with her sister, telling Rambo she will remain sad until the day she dies. Consumed by hatred and a thirst for revenge, Rambo begins raiding the tunnels and setting traps across his ranch. Returning to Mexico, Rambo seeks out Carmen's help in finding Victor, the cartel leader responsible for Gabriel's death. Though initially hesitant, Carmen agrees, as these men have also taken someone she loved. Rambo locates Victor's home and ruthlessly slays every man in his path to reach Victor himself. When Hugo, Victor's brother, arrives, he finds Victor's decapitated and bloodied corpse on the bed, with Gabriel's picture stabbed into his chest. Rambo is then seen tossing Victor's severed head onto the highway as he drives away. Enraged, Hugo and his men prepare for war, ready to retaliate against Rambo for this brutal act of vengeance. The cartel drives to Rambo's farm where he waits for them. He sets the plan and the action will begin. The first vans get blown up by one of the booby traps. The rest of the men begin to storm the tunnels, and there, they are getting stabbed by other traps or get blown up by C4 explosives. Rambo is waiting for them in the darkness and blasts any man that he finds, plus using his blade and stabbing them. Rambo finished most of Hugo men and becomes closer to him Rambo used a radio to send a message to Hugo that his death is coming. Het told Hugo if he wants to live, he has to follow the lights Rambo starts to blow up the tunnels, Hugo manages to get out. Rambo is waiting, he fires four arrows at Hugo to pin him against the wall. Then he told him that because Hugo ripped out Rambo's heart in the figurative sense, he will now do the same for him. He cuts into Hugo's chest with his blade and gets his heart out showing it to him before Hugo dies. Rambo, finally finished his revenge. We hear his voice states that he is now alone, as everyone he has ever loved is now gone, but sure their memories will be alive before he rides his horse into the sunset. And here the movie ends. Hope you enjoyed it and subscribe.